Notre Dame Fairfield will be looking for their second SWC title in a row playing on Thursday. The Lancers have preached over and over again that they have finally become a family with one another. Not much to argue there as the Lancers are riding a 13-game win streak into the championship game. On Wednesday morning, the CIAC released the state brackets for basketball. In Class M, Notre Dame will host number 27 SMSA at 9-11 team in the first round on Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the Sister Mary and Riley Auditorium. Ward will travel to Manchester to play 14th-ranked East Catholic in the Class L first round on Monday for a 7 p.m. game. Ludlow will have the most difficult challenge of the four Fairfield teams. The Falcons will travel down 985 to Stamford to play 7th-ranked Trinity Catholic in their first match of Class L. Last time Ludlow played Trinity, the Crusaders won 60-45 to at the end of January. But as Mark Cerulli told me, the team has already exceeded their preseason expectations by simply getting to where they are now. Ludlow did upset Richfield this season, so perhaps there's more magic to come. Fairfield Prep, a sixth seed, will host number 27 Norwalk on Tuesday at Alumni Hall to open Class Double L at 7 p.m. Speaking of the Prep basketball team, they were voted the Fairfield Connecticut Sports Team of the Week for February 18th through the 25th. The Jesuits received 74 of 134 total votes to earn the honor. Despite following to career in the SEC semifinal on Monday, the Jesuit basketball team has played like a championship caliber team over the past two months. Conveniently enough, the last team Prep beat was also the last team they fell to during the 14-game win streak that stretches back to January 6th. After falling to Xavier in a game where top scorer Terry Tarpey was injured and did not start, Prep defeated Guilford 74-34 at home to start the streak. Thirteen games later, Prep defeated Xavier 69-61 in the SEC quarterfinals at East Haven for the 14th consecutive win. During the streak, Prep averaged 74 points per game while allowing opponents only 54.7 points per game. Second place in the poll, which will be posted on Facebook.com slash Sports Fairfield every Saturday night and end on Monday, went to Fairfield Ward Wrestling Team for their second place finish at the FCX. Also worth noting for Ward wrestlers, Farrow Eaton and Mike Money both finished third this past weekend at the Connecticut State Open. Each finished with only one loss. Junior Farrow Eaton wrestled going 4-1 and one on the day in the 132-pound weight class. Receiving a first-round preliminary bye, Eaton pinned both Bristol Central's Tyler Burrows in the second round and Plainfield's Nick Devaney in the championship quarterfinal. He then suffered a heartbreaking overtime loss in the semifinals to Stanford's Class L state champion Ben Pierre Saint. Eaton wrestled back, beating Daniel Hands, Justin Elias in the Consolation Semis, and defeated Class S state champion David Colvin from Westbrook Old Saybrook for third place. Eaton improved his season record to 40-4. and four. Senior Mike Money, Ward's heavyweight, also finished 4-1 and one on the day, moving his season record to 33-3. and three. The Central Connecticut-bound football player received a first-round preliminary bye. He then pinned Bimel Acevedo from Maloney in the prelim championship and Xavier's Ben Lyle in the championship quarterfinals. In the championship semis, Money was caught and pinned against Class S state champion Tyler Margison from Thomaston. Money wrestled back hard and pinned next two opponents, including the Class L state champion Travis Daly from Southington to claim third. Also competing for Ward was Thomas Ananya, who went 2-2, two and, two, and Kevin Collar 1-2. The four wrestlers contributed to an 11th place finish for Fairfield Ward. On to hockey, Fairfield Prep ended their regular season in typical fashion, a 4-0 shutout victory over East Haven. The defending state champions are ranked second in the state with only one loss to in-state competition this year. So far, the Jesuits have been led by David White's 26 goals, 9 of which that came on the power play, and 17 assists. In fact, White played hero on Saturday, scoring all of Prep's goals against Hamden, including his third to tie the game in the final minutes of the third period, and a fourth in overtime to win 4-3. Prep's next leader has been A.J. Unker. Unker finished the regular season with a plus-28 rating and 32 points. He scored 12 goals and led the team in assists with 20. With the departure of John Galliani, last year's All-State goalie, junior Riley Wickman has been a pleasant surprise inside the net this season. Taking 392 shots on goal, Wickman stopped 372 of them, allowing opponents only 20 goals. The Jesuits' younger brother has also enjoyed a successful hockey season. Kevin Edmonds, the younger brother of Prep's Tim Edmonds, is a part of the Wonderland Wizards. Along with other Fairfield athletes, the Pee Wee hockey team defeated East Haven 4-1 on Monday to win the state championship. Carter Kral scored the first goal, Charlie Zecca scored the second, Kral scored again for the third, and Kevin Oracolis finished with the fourth. In swimming, Preps Jake Botel and Robert McCory finished in the top ten of the SEC Diving Championship on Tuesday. Botel placed third in the, with a score of 416.80 and McCory tenth with 294.5. 
In skiing, Fairfield proved to be the best in the state. The Fairfield co-op team placed first in the state with a combined time of 295.52 at the state finals on Tuesday at Mount Southington. Fairfield Prep finished second with a combined 302.12. Fairfield co-ops Kyle Mason and Jake Cusick took the mountain with the best times finishing first and second respectively. Prep's Greg Osborne placed 11th in the field of 106 racers. And in the Wakeman Red Baker League standings, this week Wake Forest moved to second place at 5-1 and one as North Carolina dropped to 4-2. and two. Duke still leads the league at 6-0. and up. That will about sum it up for now. You can follow Fairfield Connecticut Sports on our Facebook page at fb.com slash sportsfairfield or on Twitter at sportsfairfield. For Fairfield Connecticut Sports, I'm Rich Patera. Thanks for listening.